is time to get our first guest of 2019 up onto the stage. One of the stars of Cold Feet. Please make some noise for Faye Ripley. <laughs> Oh. Lovely, lovely. Kissing. How are you? I love kissing. Sit down. Oh. How, how, how are you feeling? I'm excited. Our show's on tonight. It's exciting. This is it, yes. yes. It's back. Season eight, yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, do, you've, you've done it before. You've done this particular... Yeah, a few times, yeah. A few of them, yeah. yeah. Do you still... Are you still as excited now when a new series of Cold Feet comes out as, as you always were? Look, I'm so invested at this point, like I can't be casual about this show because it's sort of my life, you know. Um, even when I go off and do other things, for all of us this is true, when we go off and do other jobs or whatever we're doing, or just walking the dog, then everybody constantly refers to cold feet in yeah. our lives. It's not going to go anywhere. So we might as well be paid to be there. Of course. Hooray. Yeah. But it's sort of, what I mean is, it's it's now family for us. So, um, and so we're, we're so invested that yes, it is exciting. Good, good. Yeah. Now I need to say at this point, because I'm going to be asking you lots of boring, dull questions that you'll have heard before. But Ooh. if anybody at home wants to get any questions in uh, for Faye, then you can do it on Twitter, at Build Series London, uh, or on the Facebook page. It's very modern, isn't it? It's so modern. What do you think it's scary. This? I mean, you, you didn't come to the old studio, but this is a brand new studio. You're the first guest. Am I? In the new studio. And wow. we've done this all for you. So I should be very modern in my approach to exactly. it. Exactly. Not sure how to do that. Well, I okay. think you, you look very modern. I don't know what that even means. Um, <laughs> um, but listen, so yes. the show was an unbelievable success first time round. Um, 1997. Well, it was eventually. It Actually, when the pilot went out, it was a bit of a flop because we went out, um, I think they, the Grand Prix was on or, or they launched... I don't know. It was like 150 years ago, let's face it. There wasn't much on the telly, but something else was on the telly that got in the way. And we weren't really a hit. And then it won a big award. It won a big award. That was yeah. it, yeah. And what then they put it back win? on the telly. And then right. people watched it that time. It was an award-winning show. Yeah. And then it did five series, and it became yeah. a big part of, of a lot of people's lives, as yes. did your character, Jenny. Yeah. Then it went away for 13 years. <laughs> Which is a long time. I don't understand the maths. I'm only 28. I know, it doesn't, I mean, yeah. You were a child working? star uh, the first time round. Um, yeah. And then it came back. So just briefly, for people that haven't, you know, yet got hooked to, to the series the second time around. Come on. Um, where are we up to? Can you give us the headlines on where, where you guys are all up to, where the central characters are all up to, and where we're going to meet them in series eight? Um... I wish I could remember, but mm. okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm a bit perimenopausal. Um, but okay, look, Pete and Jenny, uh, yeah. my marriage, Pete and Jen, uh, me and John Thompson, our marriage is back on track. Great. Um, they've been through everything in that marriage, including, including not very being loud married. shirts there. Um, that, that yeah, that's his so, thing, yeah. the loud shirt yeah. thing. Um, and yes, and then, so we're in a really good place, but. There is a massive curveball coming their way. Um, and for everybody, actually, uh, what we are going to see in this series, more than anything else, I think, that we filmed in the reboot kind of thing, is where the unexpected is going to happen to mm. all of them in their own different lives. But it's all recognisable, I think. And it's all relatable thing. stuff. Uh, well, it is in the sense that uh, I don't know what's around the corner. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's sort of, I think that's life, isn't it? Mm. Um, well... Should we? That was excellent, by the way. Good headline there. Um, Good. Should we? Should we supplement that yes. with maybe a little brief recap on screen, a trailer of what's been going on in Cold Feet recently? Let's have a look. Check it out. Make some noise. <laughs> look at that. Um, Exciting stuff. Yeah, I hope people are going to like it. it there, there's a lot in there this time. So. Yeah. Now I read that when you uh, first made the decision when everybody decided to kind of get the band back together. Yes. You were you were much more nervous the second time around than the first time. Because it was such yes. a beloved show, you felt like there was real pressure. You know, it's like the difficult second album. Yes. I, I On the way to... Uh, the first time we all got together was for a read-through of the script. And um, there was nothing casual about it. There was about 100 people there, executives <laughs> of various kinds. Because there was a lot riding on it. Yeah. And I... 
found myself in the cab on the way there praying and I, I'm not particularly a woman of faith, but I found myself a faith in that <laughs> moment to pray to God that we would have an accident so I didn't have to go. I didn't want to be hurt, but I didn't mind somebody else being slightly hurt. <laughs> and I yeah. could be a witness. That was yeah, that, my plan. Oh, right. That was my walk. You'd have, to, you'd have to accompany them in yes. the ambulance. I mean, no one's going to break anything, but maybe a bit shaken a up. A little bit, yeah, exactly. Somebody they maybe. might get a claim out of it. You never know. Exactly. They, they could. It could be a yes. double win. And somebody off the telly was going to help them and take them exactly. to the hospital. Then it you'd be a good. hero. And I could call and say, I'm really, really sorry. Mm. I can't come. Yeah. Sorry. You, you, you literally had cold feet. This uh, the... I really did. Yeah. Um, so, yes, the minute I walked in the door, it was like, you know, it was they're, they're just my mates. And yeah. it was funny. And John made a joke and, you know, Jimmy, made, you know, it's just, it was just, it was actually genuinely and has been ever since that thing where you just go, okay, I know these people. Yeah. They know me. It's okay. It's like you'd never been apart. Yeah. It's That's just, always it's the way family, with good yeah. mates, isn't it? When you kind of, when you're back together. It is. And the thing is, actors don't really get that very often. This is not a sob story, but we are <laughs> freelancers uh, and we have to work with strangers all the time. Yeah. Hello, stranger. Yeah. Hi. And um, and so it's quite it's novel for us mm. to actually kind of. And by the way, our mates are not just on camera. So the head of makeup yeah. and the, a lot of the crew are all people that I've known for 25 years. So, mm. yeah, it's good. And, and I also read a, a great story about when, because the success for you, it was your first big break, right? This was the role that everybody first really knew you for when you're first getting stopped in the street. Are you suggesting that the unnamed prostitutes that I was playing before were not as important? No, well, actually, um, that's the whole second half of the interview yeah. is going to be about those. <laughs> um. I, I did play Ladies of the Night. Sure. Um, Lady We've of the Night 1, Lady right. of the Night 2. Um, Hopefully in the other way around, though. You started off as Lady of the Night 2, yeah. then Lady of the Night 1. You're yeah, we, we were up. building. Yeah. Um, and, um, but yeah, it had a massive impact on my yeah. career. Huge. And, and it was the first, the first time you got recognised and somebody came up to you in the supermarket and said, you're Faye Ripley. You were so taken aback that you invited them home for dinner. <laughs> yes, they didn't come because they no. ran away. Yeah. And they, it was a lady who worked in a supermarket. Yeah. And uh, and she ran into the sort of behind the way the staff go and literally yeah. was scared of she, me. She would do. Was yes. it, did you feel obliged because you were buying loads of food? And you're like, oh, you know, at least she knows I'm going to have food No, no, in the I was house. just so excited that someone had recognised me off the telly. I used to sell men's shirts door to door. And sort of, you know, I was just, I was making my way as a basically out of work actress. So yeah. um, it was really exciting. Um, I've stopped asking every single person who watches Cold Feet to dinner, yeah. I have to say. But a little bit of me still wants to. You should. You should. <laughs> why not? Um, now, you, you mentioned uh, that this series has some curveballs in it. It does. Um, mm. And uh, I know that you wanted uh, more storylines that were active rather than your character, rather than Jenny, reacting to other things. Uh, and you wanted some bombs to drop. And I did. you've been given... Quite the bomb. Yeah. And yeah. I think we can reveal what it is because do we, it's, it's. Uh, the, look, there's, it, there's a cancer storyline um, and I, th there's a lot to play out with it um, about what kind of cancer it is and, mm. and what stage it's at and stuff like that and how indeed these characters are going to cope with it. The, the thing is, it's cold feet. So we still, it's still funny and sensitive and ridiculous mm. And you know, daft as much as it is moving, if you know what I mean. So, um, and I, th I think the thing about it, I was nervous to to uh, to go into that storyline um, because loads of people I know have cancer and they're living with it, and they're uh, f friends and family. It is the one storyline you don't really need to research, unfortunately, in this day and age because it's all around. So for all of us, um, but I I hope that. Uh, I hope that we've all sort of approached it in a way that you maybe haven't seen before on mm. the telly, you know. Yeah. A f you know, it's it's sort of still hopefully full of a few surprises. And, and it is interesting that you mentioned the, the humour there, because that must be quite challenging to bring in such a serious storyline into a comedy. But I suppose that's what Cold Feet's kind of always... There's always yeah, been but, highs and lows that, that normal yeah. people go through. But But you know what? I'm never funnier than I am when I've just been crying. 
Mm. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, uh, tragedy is exactly where co something funny comes out, out of most of us anyway. Mm. Do you know what I mean? In that moment, you know, I think you can... I think it's very British, actually. Yeah. It's a very British reaction to things that you just go, yes, you know, things obviously are, are difficult, and I'm not taking away from that in any way, but out of that, you've still got to put the bins out. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, like real life carries on yeah. and she's got, you know, Je Jenny's got kids and a life and... And she's a funny woman. And she's a funny woman and, and often says the thing you're not meant to say and yeah. I think that's the thing about this storyline, yeah. yeah. Um, now, as well as uh, being a, a great actress, which we, which we all know... Oh, um, come on. You, well, I've got to say it, you're right there. Yeah, you do. Um, <laughs> that's true. As, as well as that, um, you do have other talents. Now... Love making? Yes, that True. I've heard, top notch. <laughs> um, uh, cooking, we're going to come on to that, baking. Ooh, yes. um, but also, singing. <laughs> now, you <laughs> got offered, a, this is true, a record deal by Simon Cowell's record label. Now, And you, you said, no thanks, Big Si, <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. What happened there and why did you not take on a record deal? Okay, it, look, it was Simon Cowell's company, something like that. But basically, yeah, one of them, one of those music <laughs> of moguls. Yeah. I, uh, when I left Cold Feet originally, I went off to do a series where I played a nightclub singer. Mm. And um, in the arrogance of youth, when they came to me, it was in a time when, do you remember when Robson and Jerome were doing, uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. probably don't remember actually, you're a baby. I, we're Come basically, on. we're the same age, I definitely do. We're both 28, okay, yeah. good. And um, anyway, all the actors were making records basically, and um, and they came to me, these, whoever was making those, and they said, um, do you want to make a record? You're playing a nightclub singer, you've got loads of songs in the show. And I went, <laughs> Uh, what I'll do is I'll make a record for the uh, when we when we do the second series, mm. and it flopped, <laughs> and we didn't get to the second series. So more for me. Oh no, what so an didn't, idiot! You didn't d directly turn it down. No, I wanted to do yeah. it desperately, but yeah. I did turn it down initially. Right, waiting so that I could exactly. then you know do more songs. By the way, I can't even sing. It would <laughs> have been a disaster. I don't think that necessarily matters. To be honest. I, uh, that's what I was banking on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, and uh, I, I've got one quick question from um, somebody on Twitter, because um, I have to get these social questions enough to do the Please. plug. Um, now, uh, Emily on Twitter says, very briefly, what advice would you give to aspiring actors um, if they've ever had any embarrassing auditions and they need to move on to the next, and they need to just put them behind them? Uh, asp okay, aspiring actors have a plan B. That's good. Okay, one. That's, yeah. I sound like my mother. Y yours was singing, so you also <laughs> yeah, need a plan C well. sometimes. Yeah, yeah, maybe C and D. Yeah. Um, if you feel like you've done a bad job interview or or whatever it is yeah. in any walk of life, really, um, I have sat in in that situation. I have sat in on other actors doing their auditions, and as soon as I'd done that, I realised they're not as good as you think they. The other people, the competition isn't quite as good as you think they are. Good. So don't put yourself down. Yeah. It's um. I'm sure she. I'm sure it wasn't as bad as you think. Um, Good. And also, if it's an audition for a telly, it's, it's, you're not saving lives. It's only the telly. It's okay. Great. Good. Very yeah. sound advice. Yeah. Um, okay. Now, um, I thought it'd be fun to end with a quick game, right? Now, uh -oh. originally, uh, we wanted to play a game around um, cold feet, obviously. Ooh. But the producers decided that, like, a bucket of ice water on the stage. It's a new set. We don't want to ah. go down that route. Yes. Exactly. Uh, um, so instead, I thought we could play a quick game that puts to the test how well you know your on-screen besties uh -oh. in real life, right? Uh -oh. With a game called Cold Feet, Old Tweet. It's tenuous, but you have to... Um, so basically, I've got okay. some, some tweets, right, yes. from your castmates. And I'd like you to tell me who they're from. Now, full okay. disclosure, not all of them are on Twitter. So some of them are just quotes. But they're short, and <laughs> we can imagine it was a tweet, okay? okay? Good. So, who do you think said this? Yes. I'm no pin-up. Who would be that... Dis who would have that level of self... Because oh, you all are, clearly. I'm going to say John. You think John... Thompson. Thompson said, I'm no pin-up. Um, do you not think John Thompson's a pin-up? I do think he's you a pin-up, but yeah. I think he might have said it as a joke. As a joke. Well, no, it was James Nesbitt. He didn't mean that. 
Because well, he is a pinup. James Nesbitt is well, the ultimate pinup. He thinks he's a pinup. Oh, does it? <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Right. That's okay. Not really is that? True. Does he swan around like like Mr. Pinup? I know, but I mean, can I say the ladies throw themselves at him? Yeah. It's not his fault. He's, 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 um, and he's, I think he's got better with age as well. I mean, oh, yeah, fox. yeah. Do the before and after. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely. It was like George Clooney back now. then. He does. He's got a sweat. Yeah. yeah. I can imagine him with an espresso. The ladies love him. Yeah. Um, okay. What about this? Um, uh, epitaph for a tennis player. He was lobbed and he was lobbed and he was much lobbed in return. So I messed um, it up because I, uh, but you know, it's a joke, isn't it? He was lobbed and much, it's an epitaph. It's, I would definitely say that's Robert Bathurst. It is Robert yes, Bathurst. He definitely. is quite the comedian on Twitter. What about this one? Um, <laughs> he loves his sport. Does he love that's sport? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And, and dodgy mm. wordplay. Yes. Um, yes. What about this? Uh, I don't care for any sort of social media. I'm not on Facebook either. I'm not even on email. It's too invasive. Who is that allergic to that they find emails invasive? That's like finding letters invasive. Yes, it's just... I, again, I think they might be lying. Was that John Thompson? No, I don't know. No, no. no. Well, there's only three of them. I'm doing quite badly, aren't it I? It was Hermione. That was Hermione. Oh, oh, I did know that. Yes, yeah, she yeah. doesn't like yeah. it. She doesn't no, she hates that's it. true. That's true. Yeah, yes. well, it is. I've just, yeah. Yes, um, no, I mean, it's true that she thinks that. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, okay, how about this one? Um, my balls were tasty AF, by the way. A midweek... Hashtag handjob, rolled them, dipped in flour, uh, egg, panko, baked, yum. Was that me? <laughs> it was you, Faye. <laughs> it was you. Hang on. Because look, look. it was accompanying a, a picture of Fair. some handmade yes. um, balls. What kind yes. of balls were they? I mean, it doesn't matter, does it? Really? Yeah, they were, they were delicious. <laughs> that's delicious. All, that's all I, you need to know. I, yes, I, I like a, a double entendre. It's, it's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it's, it's great. Um, listen, Faye, thank you so much for talking to me. Congratulations on series eight oh, i'm sure you. it's going to be up there with the best of them guys make some noise for faye ripley thanks for Fantastic. having me thank you um, now the eighth series of cold feet is starting tonight on itv and make sure you stick around on bill because after 12 30 we've got kate thornton talking about dancing on ice we'll see you soon take care